What's going on, you wonderful people? So now you've just got your PS5 and you want to know what is the best PS5 SSD you should use for your PlayStation 5. The one that I'm going to recommend that I will be using personally is the Severant Rocket 4 Plus with PS5 heatsink by PS5. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install this into your PS5 and let you know why do I recommend it for the PS5. It's one of the best SSDs out there. So let's hop into the video. So you want to get your PS5 and to access the PS5 SSD, it will be on the right hand side of the PS5. Remove the faceplate. You want to put your hand in the upper right corner, lift up and push down and that will help you remove the faceplate off the PS5. So now you want to gather your tool that came in the packaging. If you don't have one, get yourself a screwdriver and you want to remove the screw that for the PS5 SSD. After you were doing that, you, there's a screw and a bracket inside. You want to remove that screw and bracket so you can get your SSD ready. So what you want to do first, you want to take that little bracket, insert it into one of those four holes, whatever size SSD you have for your PS5. Then you want to be able to take your SSD and insert it in as an angle until you hear it click. Press down, insert the screw back and tighten it back down. You want to be able to grab your heat sink remove the sticky from up under and be able to place the heat sink right on top of it and insert the required screw that came with the ps5 after you got the screw back down you want to take your faceplate slide back up until you hear a click and you should be good to go so you want to turn back on your ps5 after you have everything plugged up like there's your fire turned on let it boot back up real quick well, this is after you do this is what's going to pop up it's going to tell you what you need to do, basically, you know, to format the drive, you want to click on format SSD so it reads it. Bam. And now it tells you your read speed. So this is what you do. Hit OK. OK. Rebuilding. Perfect. Now I'll just show you that it is installed down here to storage. Okay. And it lets me know right there, separate Rocket 4 Plus. It is one terabyte. I can move games and stuff to this SSD. Oh yeah, so that's how you do the quick install of the SSD into a PS5. When I opened it out of the box, first impressions, it's much smaller than what I thought it was. <laughs> I'm thinking it was more bigger, but yeah, it's much smaller than what I thought it was. Real simple install. If you did enjoy this video, like this video, subscribe if you're new. My name is Brandon. Thanks for watching Creighton TV. And I'll leave some recommendations down below um, for other PS5 uh, SSDs that I recommend, especially the one that I am using, which is the Subrent. So to go ahead and check the links down in the description box down below, uh, there will be affiliate links, which do help out me and help out the channel. So I can bring out some more other tutorials and installs for you guys. But other than that, it's your boy Brandon coming to you from Creighton TV, and I'm signing out of here. God bless everybody. Peace.